Now we'll talk about the self inductance of your long solenoid. Let's consider your solenoid of n turns. You are able to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's n turns. With the length L and area of cross section A, it carries a current I into it. If B is the magnetic field at any point inside the solenoid, the magnetic flux per turn is equal to B into area of each turn. So, batch B is equal to mu naught into N naught divided by L. So, magnetic flux per turn is equal to mu naught into N I into A divided by L. Hence, the dotted magnetic flux of phi linked with the solenoid is given by the product of the flux through each turn and the total number of turns. So, into n is n square. So, phi equal to mu naught into n square l into a divided by l. If l is the coefficient of self induction, so we will be getting phi is equal to l into i. This is another equation that is 2. So, tallying the equation, we will be getting phi equal to mu naught into n square l into a divided by l. And phi equal to L into I, we will be getting L I is equal to mu naught into N square L A divided by L. So, solving your I, moving your I here. You will be getting L is equal to mu naught into N square I A divided by L. So, if the core is filled with a magnetic material of permeability mu, then L is equal to mu into n square A divided by L.